Hi there, my name is Shallon and I'm from P2 Studios. I want to welcome you to our new YouTube channel, Animating with TV Paint. In this series, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through this awesome animation program, as well as delivering videos to you at least twice a week using techniques, tips, and tricks that will boost your skills as an animator, as well as help you navigate through TV Paint. So with that, let's get started. Hi there, welcome back to our tutorial series on how to animate with TV Paint. Today we're going to be looking into TV Paint and the stroke tool and the various tool brush and settings that we use for this tool. So to begin with, we just go ahead and open up TV Paint. I have mine already open. And in our main panel bin, which is located here on the left, you'll see that there is this S-type tool. And this is called our stroke and uh, as you can see our keyboard shortcut is D so the stroke tool is a basic drawing tool for this program and the stroke tool we use upon the stage here or the main window and the stroke tool has four different types of strokes you can use one is called one point dot the other one's called dot, and then we have our stroke, which is the um, could be likened to the freehand tool. And then we have a filled stroke tool, which means that when we make a certain type of geometry, it'll go ahead and fill it with whatever um, color you have selected here in your color picker. And then we also have shape settings, which is allows us to go into an advanced menu to set even more parameters for our tool. So when we select the tool, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the one point dot tool does. And we can go ahead and I'm gonna set my color to black. So as you can see, all it does is it lays down one black dot every time I click. This is good for like star fields, and um, pointillism or whatever kind of st uh, drawing style or need you have for your project. Our next tool is a dot. Um, this can be likened to um, a dotted line, as you can see. And this can be adjusted as well in our, our menu down here at the bottom. It's in our options bin. And as you can see, we have different types of parameters you can adjust your tool with. The first one is size. This is the size of the brush you'll be using. Right now I'm using five. If we punch this up a couple notches, you can see that it changes the width of our brush. And the power is how much, basically it's almost like opacity, but how much you could refer to it as sharpness or contrast of your brush. As you can see up here, it's more sharp. Down here, it's a little less sharp and a little more fuzzy. And then we have opacity. This is standard in most programs. If you have your opacity at 100%, it will um, just have the full fill color of the tool. If you have it at 50%, you can do like shading or a light touch. And then we also have our aspect. Um, these we don't use too much. It um, allows us to change, as you can see up here, change the thickness of our brush and the width. See if we go up to 100%, it'll change it into a round brush. And if we go down further, it'll squeeze it into a flat brush. The angle is what direction um, on a 360 degree a, uh, circular um, around the brush here, we can rotate. Right now it's at 45 and if we adjust it, you can see the brush, it will rotate along with the direction or the orientation of our degrees that we set in our panel. Usually I keep mine at 45 degrees. And then step, we usually, I usually don't use the step, but you can. 
Um, you can just select them or unselect them. And then drying, this is basically like if you use a wet brush and you have, you make a stroke and then if you have um, drying off, it'll, the stroke will remain like a wet texture. So it'll smear across. But if you put drying on, it won't smear when you go across each other. And then we have gradient. You can choose a gradient to um, add to your stroke tool. So you have different types of um, light to darks depending on where the stroke is at. So there's a lot of cool features that we can use for this tool. And each one of these tools that we use, um, you can always go down here to the advanced options bin for your tool and you can go ahead and set them. Now just keep in mind that every time you change your tool, it will reset all these parameters. But if you wanna save your tool, because let's say you have a tool that you like and you wanna use it for other, um, other projects, like this one would be good for thumbnails or sketching, um, you just go over to the left, uh, to the right side of our t uh, panel brush here, panel bins with our brushes. And then there's this arrow that has a gradient color. This allows us to grab the current brush that we're using and save it in our brush menu here. And we have two different arrows. The first one with a gray gradient will only grab the tool or the brush that's being currently used only. The second one will grab the tool and the current color that's being used with a brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the tool and as you can see, it pops up here. And if you just, as you can see, the tools have different icons. And if you want to change this tool, uh, the, the, the icon for the tool, you just right click and you go to Edible. And um, you can edit it. And it has an icon right here. And you can go to the list and you can choose whatever icon you want to use to represent this brush. So if I go down here and I say, well, the brush is kind of like a, um, kind of like a unique tool. I'm just gonna choose this one. And then you just push okay. And now you can see our brush has our own icon that we've chosen for it. That way you can remember what the tool does or what you like about it. So now that we have um, gone over the stroke tool, I'm gonna to show you what the filled stroke tool does. Now we have, um, it'd be cool if we choose a different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose like a blue. And I'm gonna show you, what you do is you start drawing. And as you can see, it's kind of draws in a red outline. And then when, when you release, it draw, fills it in your shape with whatever color you have selected. And this is really cool if you already have done your line work and you want to fill in whatever your object is that you're trying to color or certain parts of your objects. All you have to do is trace over your line work and let it fill in. It's that simple. And always fill in this. And you can also do um, different types of textures as well. So that is basically our stroke tool. Stay tuned for another tutorial on, we're gonna continue down our tool bin here and go review all these different types of tools. Until then, keep drawing and keep practicing.